hello to any live viewers. Good afternoon from London. It is coming up to 2.30 p.m. So hello to any replay viewers. Hello to anyone wherever you might be in the world. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon. I am standing in front of a 3D printed replica of the arch in the city of Palmyra in Syria, which has been recreated here in Trafalgar Square. You can see Nelson's column behind me and the National Gallery is actually in front of me. Here is the arch. Isn't it beautiful? Um, it's been 3D printed. The original piece has actually been made out of sandstone. This has been 3D printed in Italy from scans from a UK based company uh, made out of the marble because that would actually last the trips it's about to make. So I kind of wanted to show it to you in all its glory. It's quite a beautiful day here in London. <laughs> Thanks, Simon. Hello to Boston. So you can actually go up to it and obviously touch it as well. I think a few people are maybe a little bit scared at the moment, so I'll set the trend again. And um, you can see the beautiful sandstone has been replicated um, from 3D scans that have been taken by actually a British UK based company. Uh, this arch will be traveling to, I'll show you Nelson's column. This arch will be traveling next to New York. Um, it actually leaves London today. This is the last day to come down and see it. And then after that, it will be heading to Dubai and then hopefully will be reinstated in Syria. I'm not sure when, but let's hope for the best. So, I kind of wanted to share with you a bit of archaeological history here in London, which is quite rare to see and find. And actually, um, I was actually very sad to hear that the arch had been destroyed and I never thought I'd get a chance to see it in all its glory. Yes, it's a 3D printed version of it, but if there's anything that's wonderful about technology, uh, then that means that beautiful archeological relics such as this can in some way be preserved for future generations, regardless of what civil atrocities we do as humankind um, through history. So that's my little, my little scope for you guys today. It's a beautifully clear spring day here in London. And um, there's lots going on. It's a National Gallery just behind me and Nelson's Column directly behind me, which leads down to Whitehall where number 10 Downing Street is. Uh, President Obama is flying into London this evening to have lunch with the Queen at Windsor Castle to celebrate her 90th birthday. So happy birthday, Your Majesty. And it's lovely because you are able to go up close and take pictures. Do you feel free to share as I think that this is something that not many people will get a chance to um, have a look at. Hi still, welcome, good morning. It's good afternoon here in London. It's all happening here in Trafalgar Square as you can see. We're able to walk right up to the arch. Good evening Barrett or Bard. <laughs> Thank you for the share still. That's really incredibly kind of you. Um, so the Institute of Digital Archaeology has helped to put this project together with something called the Museum of the Future and yeah I feel quite emotional standing here actually I know it's just a 3d printed replica but I guess um, this is my doorstep here in London I never thought I'd get to go to Syria or Palmyra and this arch forms the entrance to a colonnade so this is two thirds to scale so it would have been a third bigger than this and hopefully for scale you can see the lady standing just there it gives you an idea of just the size of this and um what a treat to be able to have something like this in london even if it's only for a few days so needless to say i had been taking a couple of um selfies <laughs> But no matter what humankind does to one another, um, I'd like to think that fabulous projects like this, using technology, 3D printing, scanning techniques, we can preserve architects, archaeological sites. Um, who knows, maybe archaeology has now have a resurgence now that, that technology is catching up with what we want to do with it. So here's hoping for the future and the near-presentism of getting this all um, 
out there to the rest of the world and, and perhaps also back in Syria too. So it definitely is a massive treat to be standing here in Trafalgar Square in London in my hometown and share this with you all wherever you might be around the world. I know I've got Boston in here. Um, and do please share because it's something that maybe not everybody gets a chance to see and you may not be in London. You may not get a chance to see this in New York and you may not get a chance to see this in Dubai. We certainly in our lifetimes are never going to get to see this and it's an original format in Syria, of course, in Palmyra. So Atlanta, Georgia, welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you for sharing. So let's see what happens now. Um, this to me is the most exciting prospect of technology in that if this is just the arch, imagine if you could recreate the whole city and I just hope that there are some scientists and archaeologists that have actually captured all of the measurements and potential scans or scale to try and reproduce and capture what we can from this. And let's see, let's see if we can kind of take archaeology through science and technology into the future. And you know what? Imagine walking through the city, the ancient cities all around the world, um, a lot of the columns that were made by Ashoka, Indian Buddhist king were torn down by the Taliban in Afghanistan and out through the east. So wouldn't it be wonderful if we could rebuild those, whether they were 3D printed or, you know, reproduced for virtual reality exploration. Um, I posted on my Facebook last night a amazing school bus that takes kids on a virtual reality journey through Mars, uh, on the surface of Mars. So, you know, Technology is helping to create all these amazing artistic, scientific, explorative opportunities. We just now need to make sure that we do do them. And um, But in the meantime, as humanity, let's just hope that we don't destroy everything that we can. Hello, Mr. Miaoi. Welcome. And hello, Maple. Maple? 82. So it's lovely to have Boston, Atlanta, Georgia um, in the house. And um, welcome to Trafalgar Square. I should probably grab a sandwich and head back to the investor office. We are imminently launching our app. It's an amazing fintech app. And I'd love for you to um, let me know if you want to join our beta test. And um, it's quite a magnificent, magnificent sight. I'm getting tongue tied, apologies. Lack of food. So just to recap, they've actually 3D printed this in Italy, transported it here in the UK and assembled it here a couple of days ago. It's actually made out of marble instead of the original sandstone, which would have been too delicate to probably stand the next bouts of travel that this beautiful arch is going to have. And um, I'm lucky and glad that I'm able to share this with you because it was one of the sites in my lifetime that I really wanted to get to see in real life clearly we know that the real arch does no longer exist but how wonderful for the fabulous team that's brought this together to bring it to us like this so we can at least appreciate it in its form so enough of my rambling I'm probably going to wrap up shortly I'm just going to walk around so you can see the arch from the back with Nelson's column in the back And all I'm going to do now is say thank you so much for joining my scope. Wherever you are in the world, I hope you get a chance if you're in London or in New York or in Dubai and hopefully one day in Syria this will get placed okay, where the original should have been. And um, Bard Traveller, thank you so much for sharing. Thank you to anyone who's kind of given me lots of love and hearts. Um, look, technology is enabling us <laughs> to hopefully secure the future of beautiful history, but let's, as humans, try not to destroy the beautiful history and archaeology, just because, for whatever our stupid reasons are. Alright, so thank you for staying with me, guys. I'm Anushka, you can follow me on Twitter, at Nishkino, and I'm going to sign out now. Ciao!